Hey folks, happy new year to you. January 1st, 2021. We could not get out of 2020 quick enough, could we? Um, so here we are continuing our pastor's devotional series. We're using our prayer calendar, FUMC CV prayer, cal FUMC -C -C -V prayer calendar for January. And you can get a copy of this calendar in a few different ways. The paper uh, version of the pathway that might be mailed to you. Um, you can get it online uh, through the Pathway Archives at uh, fumccv.org. Or every morning you can just go to our church's Facebook page and you can find the devotional scripture for the day. The prayer ministry, um, which is led by David Hall and uh, very active in that is Pam Hay and Marilyn Henry. And Pam does a tremendous amount of work with all the prayer stations and and uh, that kind of stuff during Advent. And, and just so thankful for the contribution of those three to the life of our church. Um, and what they do is they help to, they're, they're helping us to develop a daily rhythm of prayer and devotion and they provide a monthly tool for us so that if we are searching for a devotional um, we can use this one if we don't have one that we use or that we like um, or they're simple enough that we can use the devotional that you might use or like and then add this uh, to it. So this month, it's a series of scriptures. You can see every day there's a different verse or a couple verses. And what they're encouraging us to do is write those down. Um, so rather than just reading them, to write them because it, uh, that helps us to really internalize um, that scripture. They're all based on sort of the concept of new. So as we begin this new year, what are some scriptures that help us to think in new ways, to act in new ways, to consider God in new ways? So all these scriptures about something new. So what we're going to be doing um, is literally writing them down. So grab a piece of paper, grab a journal, grab something. Um, we're going to write them down together. Um, and then um, I'm just going to spend a minute or two sort of uh, giving some background information about what is happening in each of those scriptures. So today is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 through 19. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 19. I'm opening in my journal here so I can write it. Um, All right, and it says this. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting the message of reconciliation to us. So what I'd encourage you to do, I'm, I, I'm going to read it again. I, what I would encourage you to do is, after the devotional, to take a minute. It's going to take you one minute. Write that down so you have it even clear in your mind. Let me read it again. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting the message of reconciliation to us. All right, so let me just explain what's happening in this passage here. This, of course, is the writings of Paul, the Apostle Paul, um, and he is writing to the church in Corinth. And the way these letters work is that Paul goes into a community, he starts a church, he's there for a year, maybe two years, he gets the church going, he leaves some leaders in place, and then he goes to the next place. So he goes to Ephesus, or he goes to Galatia, or uh, goes to Philippi. And eventually the people in Corinth, they uh, you know, are, are going along, living their church and, and figuring things out. But they have questions for Paul, their, their primary leader. And so they write a letter to Paul, right? No phone, no email, no text in those days. You wrote a letter. You sent someone, um, some messenger from your community, to go find Paul, um, and you gave Paul the letter. 
Paul read the letter, then he wrote his response and sent it back with the messenger. Paul's response is what we're what we are reading when we read the biblical text. We don't have the letters that are sent from the people to Paul. We have the letters that Paul wrote back to the people. And so we always have to sort of figure out what are the questions that the people are asking him um, that Paul is responding to. Well, the question really in this passage is a, a long-held question in these days for all of Paul's churches, and that is what do we do between Jew and Gentile as we become Christian? So so you're asking us to become a Christian, but but understand that Gentiles have this whole sort of way of living and way of doing life and way of spirituality before they become Christians. And Jews have this completely different whole way of life. Um, and for the Jews, there was very particular laws to follow. And um, uh, for example, circumcision was one, um, but very particular laws to follow that would mark you as a Jew. And so the Jewish Christians believed that, uh, most of them believed that what needed to happen is you needed to follow all of the Jewish laws and then add to that this belief in Christ. Um, and there was difficulty because the Gentile Christians had not followed any of that law um, and they were refusing to become sort of Jewish first and then Christians, and so there's this battle. And what the argument that Paul's making here is that we are all becoming new. Now, if if you want to continue following the Jewish laws, that's fine. But you're becoming a new creation in Christ. Gentiles don't need to don't need to become Jewish because this is like a new birth, a new starting point. So Jews, you want to follow those those Old Testament customs, that's fine, as long as they don't violate what we're doing here as Christians, right? Um, in the same way today, you could, you know, you can have any sort of prayer practice, any sort of spiritual life practice um, uh, that contributes to your Christianity, but you don't want something that uh, detracts from your Christian faith. So everyone is a new creation. We are all starting fresh. God is not sort of landing in, in this new starting place and going back and, and counting the sins and what was wrong and what was different and what should have been different about each person's life. It's new. It's now. We start over. We start again. That's the message that, that Paul is making um, to the church in Corinth. And man, doesn't that message speak to us this day? I mean, couldn't this January, this first day of January, I mean, some of our deepest prayers are that we could have sort of a do-over, a start again, a fresh start, no pandemic, no racial unrest, no political, uh, you know, deviance and, and mess in our nation. It's just been a difficult, difficult 2020 might 2021 be a new start for you, a new creation in Christ? That's my prayer for you. So go write that scripture down, commit it to some sort of memory. Might it be written on your hearts? God bless. Have a great day.